The starting place for our discussions is the truth that, while we were all still sinners, Christ died for us. We remain fallible, weak and broken, all equally in need of God's grace, knowing ourselves to be held in the love of Christ. Despite disagreements about human sexuality, identity and relationships, we're called to love one another as Christ loved us. We're also called to be honest about our failings, to be truthful in our inward being. We're all hypocritical in some area of life. We say one thing and we do another. So when it comes to matters relating to identity, sexuality, relationships and marriage, our actions as a church and as individuals don't always match up with what we say we believe. The world is quick to pick up on the church's failure to act in line with its principles and beliefs, and it's not difficult to see why that's so. Lying is at the heart of hypocrisy. It erodes trust and openness. Our relationships are gradually reduced to a game of hide and seek as we pretend to be people we're not. No wonder Jesus said, the truth will make you free. Truthfulness and integrity enable the work of the Spirit among us to flourish. We may need to examine ourselves and admit and confess the hypocrisy that affects our life together. We pray that as the Spirit moves within us, between us and among us, we'll learn from one another and discover more of the challenge to holy living and the reach of God's kindness and mercy.